What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Glad you're here. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at a very good deck. That's right. An amazing deck, to say the least, by a legend in the community as well. That's right. We're going to be looking at the Republic number no. three deck by Jeremy Griffith, aka Los Angeles. So buckle in your seatbelts. We're going there. Let's go. The Republic No. 3 Los Angeles edition is the newest deck release by Jeremy Griffith and the team at Illusionist. The Republic No. 3s is a part of a series, like I said before. The first two decks that were released in the Republic series was the two Sultan Republic decks, and then which followed was the very infamous Republic No. 2 deck, which this deck was inspired by. After that, and not too long ago, we had the Royal Reserve deck by Jeremy as well. And then, boy oh boy, history repeated itself with this beautiful number three. Because of the love and history that Jeremy Griffith showed with the Republic deck, Brad spared no details at all in getting this deck made after a little bit of time. After the very good release of the Royal Reserves, well, it was only right that this deck came next. The front of the tuck box is going to feature this really cool removable cigar band here in the center. It's going to say Los Angeles Edition with the Republic logo in the center and accept no limitations. The top of the tuck is going to say number three, Republic, once again in that very iconic font. And at the bottom, it's going to say fine quality playing cards, 56 pieces. Both the left and right sides of the tuck box are going to be blank, except for the diamond there on the cigar band. The bottom of the tuck box is going to feature the Illusionist logo and some ad copy about Illusionist playing card company. The back of the tuck box, there's going to be no tuck seal. It's going to feature the back design of the cards in this really nice green color, which is actually Jeremy's favorite color. It's going to have the other side of that cigar band wrapped around saying illusionist Jeremy Griffith. It's going to feature Jeremy's signature as well as the ten of spades, which is his card, and his famous mantra, which is take nothing for granted. On the tuck flap itself, on the top, it's going to say number three Republic once again, and that same diamond on the inner flap that we saw on the cigar band. And last but not least, the inner parts of the tuck box are going to feature that same design that we saw on the back of the tuck itself, as well as what's on the back of the cards. Speaking of the back design, as you take a closer look, you're going to see if you're familiar with the Republic Series number twos or even the Royal Reserves previously put out by Jeremy, it's going to look very familiarized. The only difference between those Royal Reserves is it was a marked deck as well as having a border. This time around, the full bleed casino style back pattern that repeats itself and is borderless is ready for all of your favorite deceptive practices and more. This deck does come printed by Cardamundi on their famous slimline stock with the E7 True Linen finish. This deck is snappy and ready to be put to work. With this deck, you're going to receive a double backer. That's right, a double backer has the back design on both the front and back of the card. The next card you're going to receive is really cool for magic effects like three card money and more. It's going to have the ten of spades in one corner, which is Jeremy's card, and a nine of spades in the other. The last two, but certainly not least, cards you're going to get are going to be your jokers. That's right. Very original, but not duplicates in a little bit of detail that's right very close to being duplicates you're gonna see there it's gonna have the republic logo there in the center and kind of what looks like to be almost like a compass kind of design that diamond that we saw on that cigar pattern there earlier and it's gonna say joker up top 
The pips and indices and quartz in this deck are 100% customized. That's right. There's going to be some, you know, a little bit of standard kind of similarities in them, but that's about it. Other than that, like I said, you're going to see that same kind of design carry over from the previous Republic decks as well, with slight subtleties such as a thin border going around the pips. The court cards are going to have a very familiar look to them, that's right, but they're not going to have any kind of borders at all, and those pips and indices are still that custom, very small type of style. The one thing you're going to see is the King of Spades is going to have a Nine of Spades reveal on the sword. The aces in this deck, you're going to see that Republic feathers there in the center of those pips. And then when you get over to the ace of spades, those same feathers are going to kind of make out that enlarged spade pip there in the center. It's going to say Republic at the bottom, and that's it for this deck. Join me now for my final thoughts. All right, so you want to know my thoughts on this deck, and I'm going to share them with you. This is a 5 out of 5 deck. Hands down, hands on, whatever you want to say, this deck is amazing. Um, when he first announced this, I already knew it was going to be a banger. I mean, hands down. I mean, it's just one of those things that you just... I, I know me personally, I'm a huge fan of his last release with the Royal Reserves. Um, you know, I just, this has been, this has been a long time coming. Um, if you haven't had a chance to check out the very touching and just beautiful trailer that they put out for this deck, I'll link it down below for you guys to go ahead and check out. Like I said, I mean, it just shows what kind of just real and authentic, genuine guy that Jeremy is. And he's so nice, you know, um, he's, he's a really good friend of mine. Um, he's just a, a good guy, man. Like one of those people that are so hard to find they're like a unicorn that's what he is um and he's just great um but yeah i mean it doesn't matter i mean this is a borderless deck if you're if you're not in a table work that's fine too this is still a very usable and workable deck of cards um if you are in the table work like i've been into uh over the past probably six eight months all in all i can't stop I mean, it's addicting. It's like crack. I mean, it's just, you, you, you can't stop once you start. It's just every day you're shuffling, you're, you're doing cuts. You're just, I mean, it's so, it's almost like therapy, right? It's very therapeutic. It, it's, it, it puts you in this zone. I can't explain it. Um, so if, if you're not into it, trust me, just try it. Start learning some cuts, some false shuffles, some whatever. You know, up the ladder cuts, anything. And trust me, you're gonna have a whole different outlook. And get this deck while you're at it, because this is gonna help you, you know? That smooth, buttery Cardamundi stock, I mean, it's just, it's wonderful. So, definitely a top tier deck, and a favorite of mine. I mean, the, the Royal Reserves were already in my top five favorite decks of all time. This is in there now, for sure. So go ahead and check it out. Like I said, I'll link everything down below. I know at the time of recording this video, there was only about 500 decks um, available. Uh, I want to say he printed about 2,500 of these. I'm um, not offhand, you know, for sure. Um, but better get your hands on them. $10 a piece. You can't beat that for this type of style deck. So that's it. So that's all I can say about this deck, guys. Like I said, I'll link everything down below where you guys can go and check it out out that's right i want to thank all of you for a thousand subscribers as you can see we finally hit the goal so stay tuned for a really good giveaway so if you guys enjoyed this review you know what to do smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you beautiful people on the next one um and like i said if you're a fan of the table work like I've been getting into, I wasn't in the table stuff when I first got into to Magic full time. I've been into it lately, big time. I mean, that's all I've been practicing. Um, once you start doing it, you can't stop. I mean, honestly, it, it's just amazing. It's like crack. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> 
Anyway. 